Hello, this is Revector here. Um, this is the first video I've made since starting my channel. I've made some before starting and in, in anticipation. Uh, unfortunately, once I made the channel, I ran into some audio problems. So I haven't been able to record some, but I think I've, for the most part, resolved those problems. But uh, I don't think it's quite where it was beforehand so yeah if you notice any weird problems with the audio then um just bear with me here uh okay so today i'm going to discuss boxes but before we even do that uh, if you look on the right uh, of the ui there's a uh, control panel here well it's a panel here it's called the control panel <laughs> and uh there are a number of tabs and they do things but um we're going to go to uh create uh imagine that and we're going to go to uh, geometry so if you have it over here uh don't do that just make sure it's on geometry and uh yeah my computer's been acting kind of slow so if it lags then just bear with me there too uh anyway so With um, boxes, uh, the first thing I want to discuss is the uh, box and cube options here. So let's first do box. Now, uh, the, the first thing uh, we should probably cover is making a box. Just use the if you want a precise value, it's easiest just to um to um go into the uh, the keyboard um, editor this again this is if you know the size box you want or pretty close and you uh, you, you can do you can just go in here I'm not gonna mess with the um, X Y and Z coordinates uh, for this there's no reason to right now but uh, yeah, X Y and Z you know um, if right, we have it at zero so it's gonna appear in the center of each viewport i haven't really discussed the viewports but you know at the in the grid each there's a box for each uh thing so you know top front uh it's the left i think and uh, perspective we're gonna have it in perspective right now so just to make uh it easy which side does what I'm going to make the, uh, the sides noticeably different length. Uh, have have noticeably, noticeably different values. So 20, uh, 40, and 60. And we get this. Uh, also... Uh, you should know that depending on which viewport you're in will depend on um, how the box uh, is generated and let's go over here real quick and we can see how the, um, the box is generated here right so you know just keep that in mind when you are creating your objects or else you might uh, have it generated in a way that you didn't anticipate so I'm just going to control Z to undo those uh, those boxes and real quick I'm going to go to um, to uh, cube And I'm going to change uh, my computer. Please, please don't crash on me. It's doing something. I don't know. Uh, okay. I I hope it's still recording. I thought something might crash, but I don't think anything has here. Okay. Um. Anyway. 
So I'm just going to do, um, all right, right. Okay. So it's on, it's on cube. <clears throat> I'm going to do 45 for the height and watch what happens here. All three values for the, um, for the cube have changed to 45. And that's because with the cube, uh, it's all, all sides are the, um, are the same had the same dimensions so you know, yeah you get a cube and now it's gone so that is one thing that you, you can do to create a cube uh another thing let me just collapse uh, fold that back in another thing you can you can do is to um make an object by um by clicking and dragging so uh, if you see we're still uh, the, the box is still selected cube is uh, selected so if i click and drag i'll make a cube and i can make it smaller or bigger um but it's it's going to be a cube no matter what i do so let it let's go to that and go back to box because box uh I use box most of the time when I am making something well for box, you know, something appropriate. I almost never use cube. Uh but yeah, as you see I can change the um the width and the length um with the mouse until I get it to about where I want it. I let go and uh, left, uh, and then you, you move the mouse up or down and then um, let go and you have your object now let's say um, I accidentally let go a little too soon or maybe I sneezed in the boxes uh, yeah let's say I, I sneezed in the boxes now higher because I my hand was uh, I jerked my hand when I sneezed and, uh, and, and I didn't want a box quite that tall well, I can go to height here. Uh, and, um, you know, it's, and, um, let's make that, uh, 15. And, you know, it's in the, pr this is the, the parameters, um, uh, uh section. Right, right below the, uh, the keyboard uh, editor. But uh, yeah, so now it's at 15. And of course, I can make it even lower still. 5. And um, there you go. Or, of course, taller. And uh, yeah, it's a lot taller now. Uh, of course, the problem is, let, let's just say, you know, I... I um, I got out of that and I right clicked so that now it's um it's no longer selected not only the box but the whole um or the, the object in question but also the whole box uh selection uh is is no longer selected now um you you can't edit it from creative mode anymore well let's just say you wanted the, the height um to um to be lower than what it is now so um i mean you can try but it won't work so so let's just do that real quick okay the bar the the object is, is selected as you can see there there is a white um outline showing that it is selected and then you can go back to box but um and you could try something like uh like change uh what well, actually but by the way just 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 to note uh the the values here for uh length width and height is 45 which was the last thing we typed in when um we were in the keyboard editor 
uh, because it was under cube. But uh, I mean, we could try to to do this. It won't work. But let's just say twenty. And uh, if you notice, the box is still the same height. So what do we do? Well, you have to go to uh, modify here. And because the box is selected, the, the object is selected. So the modify uh, tab. Uh, already recognizes and says okay this is the object you have selected and here are the um, the options for you here now I'm not going to get into the width uh, the length width and height segments for uh, this video that's a whole nother kettle of fish this whole, this whole tab is a whole nother kettle of fish here um, but let's just say okay 200 for the height that's what I typed in uh, so let's, I mean, let's just say 75 and it is shorter now. Um, and of course you can keep lowering that until you get it to where you want it. And then, um, you can, uh, just, you know, say, okay, that that's it. I'm done. And, and, um, you have yourself an object and um, there's of course a lot more but uh, for now that I mean that's the basics for for boxes uh, just to get a real basic shape you know if you want to make um, I don't know some um, you know rudimentary thing you want to make kind of a very simple house or some person who looks like it came from minecraft or i don't know y you can do that um it isn't too hard but uh, of course there's a lot more to this program so uh stay tuned and also um you know i i just keep in mind i i have you know i'm far from master this myself but the, yeah uh, I certainly don't mind sharing the knowledge I have and uh, would appreciate it when I come in when I, when I will uh, ask questions uh, hopefully you guys will um, help me out too <laughs> uh, but yeah I want to build up some, some goodwill too uh, and uh, tell you guys the right things so um, this is it for uh, for boxes so uh, have a good day, and I hope you enjoyed.